Hello Stratters, Dan here. It's that time of the week again. It's time for Living End. Mana base is still screwed up, but I'm pretty happy with the list, I think. Uh, although my heart is with Red Green Ponsa right now, I will play another match with this deck. Please be aware that I'm not sure what I'm doing. And I'm playing against Time Lord. The evil master. He should be playing taking turns, shouldn't he? Yeah, regarding taking turns, I've been convinced that uh, the non-mono blue version is better and it's just too expensive, so that's why I'm not playing that. Wow. This looks great. Got a horror. So we should get a blood crypt here. Keep it. Got a blood crypt cycle, the horror. Okay, street rate we cycle when we need to. So uh, that, 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 that's not the fetch land. Uh, yes. Well, at least it's black. So we can still play everything. I'm not sure I agree on the street race thing. If I'm lacking a cycler or something, I am gonna go for it. I think I'm playing black, uh, something jund, death shadowish. Or not. Cycle horror. Got that guy. Play groove, cycle, both of them. And then land this story, right? No, it's the mirror! <laughs> oh god, I have no idea what to do in this mirror. But destroying land should be a good idea. Uh. Oh, so you can now cast living in. Wow, that feels broken. But maybe he's not living on them. I cycle carotid. Do I now? Destroy a land, spirit guide, Cerodon. Well, he can't counter now, can he? And I have so much. It's just a win right here, isn't it? We need a creature for that. Uh, so I am going Fulminator Mage. And destroy something. And Spirit Guide. Cycle Cerodon. But how do I get a creature into play then? Do we ever put a counter on that? Oh, apparently you do.
<laughs> Okej. Okay. The Plants of Mice and Men. So we just start over. Are we gonna have to hard cast the street wraith? I don't really know how to do this, but I know I need more cyclers. Or that. Uh, Beast Within seems nice, but I can't do anything more this turn. Well, Beast Within also gives me something to target. Maybe I should get a second copy. Once each turn. Wow, that's strong. You want me to discard stuff? Yeah, I think I'll discard Living End. So now we can surgically extract it. Uh, okay, I'm letting go of the Fulminator Mage. Now we can just counterspell at will. Okay, so now I can do it actually. I need black for demonic dread, black red. So I get green here. Colorless red. We didn't have a counter spell. I'm black. But he's countering the um, living end if he has a counter. But if he had a counter, he would not. Have let uh, the that thing work, right? Look at the top three cards, put them back in any order. He's a 3-3, three, three. and we kill the dual land. Okay, then we have to try to win with this. Let's see if that works. Uh-oh. Okay, so he becomes a 4-4. Four, four. He just becomes a 3-3 three, three this time. <laughs> okay, so we can't hardcast this. So we have to cycle it. Play this, swing with the team.
uh, sacrifice a street wraith. And it blocks there. I'm pretty sure he can dig himself out of this. Scavenge Kingdoms becomes a 4-4. Uh, I forgot my fetch land. He's at five. So he has to let the scavenging use go unless he finds another green mana. And he'll be at one. Oh, what? That kind of surprised me a little. I'm scared now. Um, do I hard cast it right there? Probably. Snapcast the mage, devour flesh. I think I have to hard cast it. It's swamp walking. That's not something you should forget. Yeah, he's running away with this. Wait a minute. He only has two cards. Do I draw into another living end? What happens? But uh, I could draw into land, so uh, it's street race. Still only has two green. It is Bell Bomb. And that's a swamp, so we are swamp walking. Yes, he can only return a creature. So we'll probably bound Serdon. Oh my god. So much value. Interesting. He wasn't tricked by the swamp pork. And we hardcast it. Uh, 
But now he can outgrow it easily. Very interesting deck. Blood Moon doesn't hurt him too much, does it? I'm playing the land. Not sure about that. There's plenty of life. Target creature can't block this turn. Ignore the cascade. And no. Where does it end up? Yes! Ho oh, ho! Oh. Um, okay, he is using his graveyard quite a bit. I think... Shriek Maw does a lot. Fulminator Mage does a lot. We got the two Fairy Macabers. Maybe we need to dismember. Problem is, what do you take out of this deck? Maybe you take out Spirit Guides. This is gonna be a grind. He doesn't have... Flying. Minotaurs. What would you take out? Uh, what do you think he sideboards? We can't hit Relic. Uh, it's Crucible, right? If he has Crucible. But we could also face a situation where he has no artifacts. So I need to see an artifact before I bring in Ingo Chewer. What an interesting deck. I can't keep this right. There is nothing here. And there's nothing here either. But I am scared to... I get a scry. Why did I bring in this member at all? I think I have the mulling on this too. And this I'm gonna keep. I think I have the bottom this. Because I need to get the three lands. Getting a blood crypt. Yeah, a Graftigus Cage doesn't work, right? That's what I have learned, that... Um, 
I, I just read that. There is some sort of rule thing that makes that a critical mistake against this deck. Uh, gonna cycle that, gonna cycle the other guy. Whereas uh, Chalice of the Void just destroys us. It's something about the wording of Living End. Oh, we are putting it into play or something. Let's see if that is true or not. Hey, I like that guy. But now I feel I have to cycle the Street Wraith to find another cycler. I don't, but I find Fulminator Mage. I think he's getting a basic here. No. So this is just the land destruction party. No! God, Bayouka Bog. Stay in pauper, Bayouka Bog. Colorless, red, black. Palminator Mage, wreck that thing. And we're never gonna hurt Bayuka Bog because of Life of the Loom. I, I'm still gonna test the Graph Digger thing. I just read it. I don't understand how it works. Why well, didn't you have a basic to fetch? Dark Heart of the Woods. Amazing. Oh my god. But Yukabog really hurt me. And I don't feel I can use Beast with him. Using Beast with him on the forest would be kind of fun. This hand is crazy bad. And <laughs> this member. Fulminator Mage, go to work. Oborg is of course something. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, clever. <sighs> what if we now beast with him? That would leave him at three lands. And we have a target for...
But we don't really have anything at all. But I think I want to do it. Sometimes stuff just happens. What a weird exchange. Okay, so now he doesn't have a creature in the graveyard. And I have a target for my stuff. Oh my god. And this thing can just be dredged. He can just get back life from the loom. With dredge, that's terrible. And we know we have so many lands. And we can't really do Fulminate Mage beatdown, right? We have to wait here. So I guess we have to kill the beast. Dredging like crazy. Okay, Beast is dead. Black colorless. Still no creature in his yard. And Blood Moon would just wreck him here. I think I need to play Blood Moon. Let's cycle horror. Cerodon. I'm looking for land. And there it is. Sultai Charm. So much value. Tireless Tracker. Okay, he has nothing in his graveyard. We have plenty. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, cycle. 
We can do that in response to living end, right? Okay. So casting living end. Yeah, grafting a cage doesn't work. Uh, we probably want to kill some lands. Okay, this will still be a long I'm gonna die from the clock. And now comes all the devour flesh. Five to hard cast. Oh! That hurt. Uh, I am still going to cycle this. And then we could do it again, couldn't we? Oh, macabre. That will be fun. Uh, we're just gonna cast living in again here, right? And then he gets Tyler's tracker back, but no, we are gonna exile that. So I exile Tireless Tracker and and then I living end again, but I can't, right? And this is my last living end. Hmm, that was a miscalculation. So I need a black land. And I suspend living end. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was poor planning because I should have done that much later. No! Oh, he's gonna lie from the loom and get. I run out of living ends. That doesn't happen too often. Okay, now I'm pretty dead. But you still have to stop me. I could get like cycle fest. I could have got cycle fest here. Uh 
Oh. Why can't I see how many time counters it has? I have to look at it in exile. One time counter. Okay, next turn. Yeah, I'm so dead. Yeah. So now I'm down to hard casting creatures. What a cool deck. Yeah, I should just give up here. So I have time to finish the last game. And we are bringing in Blood Moons. What are we taking out? I think Archfiend. Oh, it's probably Archfiend. And I'm gonna cyber out a Demonic Dread. I don't know if you ever do that. Doesn't Blood Moon just wreck me as well? But it looks pretty vulnerable to Blood Moon. So let's try that. God, his deck is giving me a headache. I really wish I'd know more about Living End. I knew how to handle this deck with Ponza, like, oh, lots of lambs. Let's wreck them. Bring in Relic. Yeah, this doesn't work. I guess this works. Keep it. Play this and cycle Cerodon. Okay, plan now is just early living and, and see what happens. Oh, that happens. He's gonna take the Demonic Dread. Yep. Oh, we took the Fulminator Mage, so my plan remains the same. Trying to win with Cerodon Street Wraith. That doesn't work. But let's try it anyway. Target creature. That's what we need. Getting blood. Okay, we have to think about, we're getting the forest. Can't get a forest with that. We gotta think about Blood Moon, right? <laughs> Do we even have a forest? <laughs> yeah, we do have a forest. Six minutes. I might time out here, it's very likely. Do 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do it now so I can F6 and F8. Architects of Will have been played. Oh god. For a basic land card. Okay, didn't search for that. So now the living end plan uh, doesn't work. And now I'm getting the forest. Blood Moon would just be very sweet here. I miss Avalanche Riders. Two minutes is two minutes ahead of me. For ancestral visions, I bet, yes. I'm getting all of the lands out of my deck. Okay, now he has basic lands. So I guess I'm playing this guy. Ta-da! He's attacking you. What are you gonna do? What is that? We cast spells if if they had flash. All right. Yeah, I feel pretty dead. Horror of the Broken Lands. Ta ha ha. Uh oh. Eternal Witness. For Traverse Dulvenwald. Okay, Delirium is... Oh god, anything. I really feel I should have more Fairy Macabers. Horror attacks. Play second horror for 
to get hit by Maelstrom Pulse. Liliana, the last hope. I've never seen her before. Such an interesting mix of cards. Returning Eternal Witness. Yeah, I really need to mess with uh, with this graveyard more. He'll play Eternal Witness. Devour flesh. Look at that. So now that doesn't work. So I have seven mana. Alright, so what we're going to do here is to try to dread that guy. Uh, that mana doesn't work. Uh, get a red mana and a white to dread him. And then we're going to get a plus four. We're not casting Living End. We can still use the Outburst. So we are attacking. Uh, Lilian, I guess. Which is not going to be fun. And here... The witness comes, and then we macabre the devour flesh. Uh, but that didn't happen. So it's just letting Liliana go, and I guess we are okay with that. What am I missing? Is he gonna kill me some other way? No! Okay, here comes the witness. Mr. Witness, what are you up to? And what are you targeting? There is targeting, targeting, targeting Liliana of the Last Hope, but no, that didn't happen. Uh, we want to devour flesh as well. What? Didn't I just exile? Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, I'm getting pluses for Horror of the Broken Lands. Very important. Yield to that. Go away, Liliana! Die! Ha! That was fun. But it's not like, um, like this is working out in any sense of the word. Or the phrase. This is so complicated. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I am dead. Big game hunter hunted some big game. 
Yeah, and this guy can still sacrifice like a ton of forests, so we're not getting anywhere. He has three cards, he's waiting for... I don't have anything. Can I even attack here? Or am I going to die? He can eat Snapcaster Mage, he can eat, oh, can eat so much stuff. Why can't I find my cyclers? Okay, I am ready to die next turn, but I'm not gonna give up hope. Hope is the last thing that dies. What about the living end here? That would be terrible, wouldn't it? I get horror fairy. Does my living end resolve? I don't get anything at all, and he can just eat it, so that doesn't work. Goodbye, big game hunter. Oh, I have 30 seconds left. God, there is no way to win this. Yeah. I think I can just give up here. Yeah. Thank you for watching. God, this made me feel like a noob with this deck. Uh, I think my choice of Ponza for the tournament is pretty wise at this point. Ouch. If you have a deck list for his deck, I want to see it, because it was the most complicated deck I've seen in modern for quite some time. It felt like a really controlish pauper deck. Cheers.